How fast does water cool off after boiling? I don't have a kettle, so I use a cooking pot at home to boil water. I boil water on high in the cooking pot and as soon as I see the big bubbles, steam forming, I assume the water has reached 100 degrees Celsius, is that correct? If the water has reached 100 degrees Celsius and I let it settle off the stove for one minute, what's the average temperature of the water after that period of time? Edit I'm trying to make some coffee from my French press and from what I've read, people recommend to wait one minute before pouring the hot water in the press. I'm not getting a lot of coffee flavor from the French press after letting it infuse for five minutes. I was curious to know if the temperature of the hot water can drop a lot in one minute. As long as you are talking about a normal pot with or without a normal lid, i.e. not a pressure cooker, and you are reasonably close to sea level, you're right, boiling water is at 100 degrees Celsius. However, if you start to climb in altitude, that is no longer the case, at 300 meters, Water boils at 99 degrees Celsius, at 600 meters, 98 degrees Celsius and so on. Wikipedia has a page with information about high-altitude cooking, see link, 1. That contains a reference table. Tip. In your current phrasing, your question seems like a rather abstract physics question. You could get more informative answers if you expanded it to let us know what you are trying to prepare at a certain water temperature. Is it tea perhaps? But to try to answer the first part of your question as stated, the Roxby Cooking School, see link, 1. Has a video lesson demonstrating how you can identify different water temperatures without using a thermometer. For example, for the poaching cooking method, which is done in water at 71 to 85 degrees Celsius, you should look for the first small bubbles at the bottom of the pot and the first signs of steam from the surface. So assuming that the water is at 100 degrees Celsius as soon as you see steam forming is not necessarily correct. If you heat up the water further than the poaching temperature range, you get at the temperatures for simmering and gentle boiling. For a vigorous boil, 100 degrees Celsius, which is the maximum temperature that water can reach at sea level, you have to wait until the water is moving and steaming faster, with big bubbles appearing on the surface. 